Well, it's been way too long since I've been able to talk about a man getting his dick stuck in something. It's been way too long, Internet. Why haven't you been putting your penis in things and getting them stuck? I live for this kind of news. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? So I got another news story for you guys. There is a man that had to be rushed to the hospital after he got his dick stuck in a wrench. He got it stuck in the circle part of the wrench. I'm not a very handy guy, I don't know a lot about tools, so I'm gonna call it the circle part of the wrench. That's where he got it stuck in. Here's a picture to demonstrate. Not a picture of a man with his penis stuck in one, but just the wrench in general, in case you're having trouble picturing a wrench for some reason. I've said it before and I'll say it again. If it's got a hole, men will fuck it. God damn, men will fuck anything. If it's got a hole, men will put their penises in it. It might be out of curiosity, it might be for sexual desire, but either way, men will be like, hey, that looks like my penis will fit in it. I wonder. This poor guy put his dick in that wrench and it got stuck. And he waited way too long, his penis started to swell up, and firefighters had to be called to the hospital to have it removed. That's when it's really embarrassing. It's embarrassing enough to go to the hospital and be like, look, can we be discreet about this? I have a wrench attached to my penis, I can't get it off. The hospital's like, I'd love to be discreet, but we're gonna call these firefighters instead. And the firefighters are gonna come and be like, don't worry, sir, we're gonna get that wrench off your dick. Now just show me. Show me your penis wrench. But you know what? Maybe he didn't stick his dick in that wrench for sexual desire. Maybe he stuck it in there just because he was trying to play a joke. Maybe him and his wife were fixing something and she was like, can you pass me that wrench? So he attached it to his penis and was like, here you go, baby. And he just thought it'd be hilarious. Then he was like, wait a minute, I'm getting hard. Wait a minute, I can't get it off. What the fuck? And then when something like that happens, you're embarrassed about it. You're not gonna go straight to the hospital and be like, look, I got a wrench on my dick. You're gonna be like, you know what? Maybe I'll go soft. It'll fall off. It'll fall through the night, but no, these things just get worse and worse because it's cutting off the circulation to your dick. So your dick's just gonna swell up and eventually just fall off. This guy was probably trying everything he could think of, like, let me put some butter on there, it'll slip right off. No, now I just got a greasy penis. Oh, let me just look at some pictures of my grandma. I'll get so soft, it'll fall right off. No, now I'm just really hot for my grandma. I wonder if it was for sexual reasons. I just can't imagine a guy sitting there like, oh, I'm gonna fuck that wrench. Let me fuck that wrench. Oh man, it's so hot. Let me fuck it, fuck it deep. Maybe he was just fixing a car and it was a terrible car repair accident. Maybe he was fixing the car with a wrench. He slipped and fell and his penis went in the wrench and he was like, that's the last time I fix a car naked. I feel bad for this guy though. He, for whatever reason, put his dick in the hole of a wrench. It was probably curiosity. He couldn't find his cock ring. I don't know. But then it got so bad he had to go to the hospital. That's where I feel bad. He had to go to the hospital and be like, there's a wrench on my dick. That is just, I mean, I feel bad for him, but I don't feel bad for him because it's a story that I get to talk about to you guys now, so I'm kind of happy he did it, but I, I can sympathize for how that could be a painful situation for him. But I'm pretty, pretty happy with how it turned out. So if any of you other guys out there are gonna stick your dick in something, you know, get it caught in there, give me the exclusive. Don't go to the hospital right away. Be like, look, Fluffy, this happened. I need your advice. I probably won't give you very good advice, but I will be the first to do a video about it. You don't have to send me pictures, though. I wonder what size the wrench was. That's a good question. How big was the wrench? So, thanks for watching my video on this man that got his penis stuck in a wrench. I know you guys live for these kind of videos, so when I see a penis, about to get stuck in something, I'm like jackpot. If you like these types of news videos and you want to support them and you want to see more of them, then hit the like button down below. Leave a comment down below. Support the videos that you like. And that's how I know that they are what you like. If you want to see more of me and my comedy and all the content that I produce here on YouTube, then the best way to see that is to subscribe to my channel, wherever that subscribe button is. I always point up, but someone told me it's not up anymore. I should probably just look at the page and figure out where it is once and for all, but I just never do. And other than that, I will see you guys again really soon with much more content coming soon. See you guys again very soon. Did I say that I would see you soon? Well, I will see you soon. Soon, you know, like not now, but pretty soon.